Let's take a look at Huawei Docs, the alternative to Google Docs. And uh, this is how it looks like if you start it for the first time. You have the option, you'll see your home screen here, but you also have the Huawei Drive, which is basically your connection to your cloud service. And there you have some other documents that uh, you can see there that are uploaded there. And you can, of course, create new documents in the cloud or upload it if you want to. And then you have the me account where you can see your cloud settings and some other options, just like, for example, how much memory you still have left on the cloud. It has lots and lots of functions, so I will not go through everything, but I will yeah, explain to you the basics. So first of all, we have the option to open up Word documents. So I have created a text document here that looks like this. And as you can see here, it has the option to support images as well as uh, different points a list basically and also um, here a table that you can insert as well and now I'm in watching mode so what I have here is now the option to have the mobile view I can go into this as you can see here turn mobile view off and this is how it looks like in uh, desktop view I think so you can see the um, I don't know what's doing here it could be like as this is still an early version, some kind of bug. But as you can see here, it doesn't look right to me. I can click on mobile view again and then it looks right again. I have the option to share this document, of course. I can share it with various different applications and um, files and uh, other apps. And I have tools options where I have the option to search for things or find things. For example, so if I big large document text document I can search I have a word count that will count all my words here and I have also the possibility to go into night mode so if I'm reading a document in night mode you can see it is changing everything to be more eye friendly and we have also the option to choose the reading background increase the font size uh, even uh, choose to uh, have the text differently aligned, which is interesting. We can add bookmarks, see the contents. If there's a contents in the document, you can see it. We have the option to lock the screen. Uh, always keep the screen on. Turn page with volume keys. So I can use my volume keys, my real physical keys on my Mate XS to switch between different pages. And I can go into reading mode, which will like, uh, sc instead of scrolling, uses turn pages for going through pages. So if you have like a big document and you want to use it, especially on the Mate XS, it makes a lot of sense, I would say. You can do this and of course enable the mobile view by default is also possible. These are the view possibilities. You have review possibilities just like for example show comments. So if there are any comments in your document, if you are collaborating with different people and do, uh, you have like uh, suggestions and you want to review those comments, you have the possibility to do this as well. And of course change the username for the last user who edited this file. And under file, we have the option to export this file as PDF, share or send it, encrypt the document. Yes, you have encryption support. If I enable this, I have to give a password and uh, this allows me to open up the file only with this password or edit the file. If I want to edit this file, I have on the top left the edit function. If it's not enabled, that means that this file is not meant for editing. But if I click on edit here, we go into the editing mode. And in the editing mode, you can see the cursor. So I can just simply click here. My keyboard turns off, uh, turns on. In this case, it's the BlackBerry keyboard that I installed here. It might look a bit giant here. It's not optimized for the Mate XS. But I can just write here some test note, for example. And what I can do now is uh, I can mark this uh, text. I can add a comment to it if I want to. I can clear it, cut or copy it. Or have the option to uh, make it uh, larger in font size, make it bold. Uh, I can even add uh, the add it to the font color, like one of the colors here. So, for example, this color here, and uh, I have various other options here as well. I can make it a list entry, either with numbers or with bulletin points. And I have some other options if I click on here to change even more like font color, but also highlight color. So I can highlight it in green, for example. 
I have the option to choose the line uh, here. You can see multiply and exactly in points if I want to change the font size or multiply it. I have the option to choose the alignment. So center, for example, right, left, and I don't know what this is. Ah, so it's stretching out the whole text. And of course, I have also uh, the uh, possibility to change it to a font si a style that is already known, just like heading, um, various different headings, titles. Like for example, I want to be in this title, and it's using this styling then. Uh, and lots and all, lots of other options here as well. Just like for example, I can make a little node. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, that makes it a little bit smaller like a little sub node that would be attached to the top um, right of a document or the, to the bottom right of a document, small caps, all caps. So I can make it like all caps or small caps like this, which is also interesting. So these are the editing options. You can see these are pretty interesting. I also can choose the fonts and have various different font sizes and font styles that I can change here too if I want to. And you can see the size and other options here as well that I can do. So when it comes to editing, lots and lots of feature when it comes to formatting text files. Then of course the option here, the system allows me to, if I go here back to insert, allows me to insert images. Otherwise I would not be able to insert this image. If I click on this image, I have various different options, just like cropping the image, rotating the image, deleting the image. And of course, when it is placed into text, um, in line with text, top and bottom, square, in front of text or behind text, I have the option to choose this as well here for an image. You can see this is the image tab. If I go to insert again, I have also the option to insert text boxes, a shape. So we have di various different shapes here that we can use, just like for example, this shape here, I could insert and then let uh, this character say something and then just add text in here and blah, blah, blah. You can see this is working uh, pretty fine. And I have the option of course to make it a bit bigger so all the text is visible. Uh, so in terms of editing features, I'm surprised that this has so many editing features already and that this is working so nicely here already. And I can save it. If I save it, uh, let me show you because I already saved it. If I go to file, I have the option save as. I have the option to save it on the my drive, Huawei drive or my phone under my documents folder, for example. And here I have the option to choose between the docx format, the doc format, a txt format, which will of course then get rid of the formatting itself and the PDF. So I have the option to export it as PDF. And of course, encryption is also possible. So this is the possibility of uh, the text editor. And you can see, huh? The formatting did not really work out here in this case. So there are still some little bugs in here. And you can see this also if you import Microsoft Doc formats that you might have some issues with the formatting. It's not always working the way you want it to work. But this is, I think, inherent in the format itself. Anyway, that's this. Let's close this. Let's go to another one. We have also a memos application. If you click see here, you can create a new document and new memo. I don't know what's the difference between those two, I have to say. it's For me, it's, it's the same thing. And if I go to memos, I also have the option to format anything and have the same editor here uh, that I had before. I also have the option to, to add comments or something like this. If I want to, for, for this, I can just add a comment and here type something in and it will then appear as, should appear as comment here. Anyway, uh, so this is the Memos app that is basically also the Word uh, application. Uh, we have a presentation app. So if I click on this, I made a small presentation here. It's in uh, the read-only view. You can see the two pages here. And I hit on play to start the presentation. It goes into landscape mode. And if I click now, you can see it even has 3D effects for this uh, nice uh, little um, animations that you can add here. And we can go into the edit mode now. And I have the possibility to uh, double click to edit here the text, all the formatting options that I had basically before as well. I can click here again to see all formatting options 
that are available. Uh, text box options here as well, like I can set the color, uh, uh, different fill color, like for example I want this fill color here, maybe I should do, uh, maybe I should make the select uh, the text color white, so I go into uh, home here and make the text color, the font color, a uh, white color and go back. Now it looks a bit nicer and I have other options here for the text box like the border style for the text box that I want to change or bring to front, bring to back, uh, some other options here as well. And yeah, so these are the options. I can of course move this around if I want to, uh, make it smaller if I want to. Uh, you can see the font size is changing as well. It is working quite well uh, in terms of editing also presentations, uh, basic presentations. What I did not figure out yet is like, I can also rotate this here. What I did not figure out is like animate uh, animation of this uh, text box for example. Let's see if we can do this. We have the play option here. We can play from uh, current side slide or another slide. We can insert stuff. You can see images, text box, shapes again, notes, uh, other slides, tables, charts, background music, audio and video files. And we have transitions where we can apply them to slides. Uh, but I don't see an option for do this it is like the whole presentation here yeah, for the whole uh, slide but I don't have an option for animating text as far as I can see I have the draw option so you have the option to draw you can use your finger or a pen to draw in this case um, I don't think there's a pen available for the made XS uh, but you can use your finger to draw stuff if you want to so what is not possible is I think an animation for what's this here no, it's a text box, uh, an animation for uh, different texts. Uh, so you have to create new slides and then add your text in, in there or something like this. So I can save this again as, um, let me show you, if we go to file, save as, as uh, pptx or ppt or pdf format. Then of course P pdf without the animation effects. And uh, it's working fine, I think. Uh, if we go to done, I can go to play and it will then start playing this little animation and you can see it works fine. Also opening up uh, PPT and PPTX files is working as long as they don't have animations that are not supported by the app itself. Then we have spreadsheet application here as well. And as you can see here, it looks like a normal spreadsheet application. I have like a sum in here, I click on this double, uh, double click on this you can see it has a sum simple sum of b2 b3 uh, b4 b5 so i can do like uh, little formulas i can add in here i uh, have the option to change between text and uh, numbers for example and i have of course uh, normal formatting options let me go back here for this for example if i want to move this i can move this here and i can say okay let's mark this and we will we want to have a different color for this. So we use a different fill color for this. We are using, let's say this color maybe, and to make it more uh, beautiful in terms of uh, yeah, doing it uh, better. We have sheet one here uh, that I'm currently editing. You can see I can give it a different name and tag and color and so on. So it has all the options. We have sheet two here, which is empty and uh, so on. We have the option to merge cells, wrap text around and many, many other options here. Uh, the formatting options, of course, delete cells, fill cells, format painter. That is even better. That allows you to uh, paint everything together. So I can uh, choose again like this so it will like have a nice effect on on uh, painting uh, and format painting uh, stuff so also very interesting uh, formatting cells resizing styles step styles of course export as pdf save as uh, again uh, the option for xls xlsx zvs in this case as well is supported et i don't know the et file for modern pdf is supported here and 
yeah this is basically everything you can insert like cells images text boxes uh, functions of course we have various different functions that we can choose from and uh, yeah these are the um, Huawei docs applications that are available for and will be probably coming with Emotion UI 11 or later in the Huawei app gallery and this is a little preview and overview of the um, Huawei docs uh, which could be an alternative to Google Docs. The only thing that I'm missing is you can see that I have uh, maybe you cannot see I have like some open document formats and most of the stuff that I have is an open document format and not in Word an Excel PowerPoint format so what I'm missing is the possibility to import and edit those files as well uh, this is something that they should add to this application then I would say yes it's a true uh, nice um, replacement and of course you have also the possibility to view PDF files which is pretty nice and have various different tools here regarding the uh, night mode again uh, show annotations and uh, some editing options as well annotate the PDF so I have the option to uh, mark uh, certain stuff highlight uh, certain stuff and uh, drag something over to highlight certain things and so on so this is also enabled here for PDFs and the cool thing is like I have also the possibility to of course save this PDF and it has then the highlight as well and you can see here I can go to edit again and annotate the PDF uh, if I want to I have other options here as well like uh, for example uh, share or send or print even this page or uh, of course save is as uh, another PDF file if I want to so this is possible and of course sharing allows or me also to save this as PDF so if you're opening up for example PDFs uh, from uh, the website from a website or something like this you want to save it on your device you have the possibility to do this now and of course you have this mobile view which allows you to go to previous page next page and menu as you can see here now in reading mode which is uh, pretty nice if you want to read some pdf books for example i'm not sure if epub format is supported i think i have an epub here but i didn't see the epub uh uh, here so it would be nice to have like also a simple EPUB reader inside of here so Huawei if you're listening this would make things a lot easier so this is basically everything now for my overview of Huawei docs if you have some nice other um, tips and tricks to the Huawei docs or um, comments in general you can do this in the comment section thanks for watching until the next time bye